What's up, fellow YouTubians? I know that's a new word I just created, mm. I guess. <laughs> Back with another video from the Woodburn and Mary. We've got some pretty good stuff and some pretty good deals to share with you. The first one we're going to talk about is the one from Dan's. And I picked this stuff up here. I forgot the price. That bag? That bag, yeah. I have the bag. The bag. The bag. The Dollar General Green Bag. Mm. Well, first thing we want to go over is some shotgun shells. You know you got to have some shotgun shells to defend your home. <laughs> yeah. What? It's 12 gauge shotgun nice. shells. $10. That's cheap for those. And it's a full box. But anyways, moving on. No, that's good. Because you can never have enough shotgun shells. You are right. Which one you want to make? Um, so we got Final Fantasy... Eight. Eight. <laughs> Roman numerals. Huh? Yeah, they, they messed me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For some reason. But, uh, Final Fantasy... Eight. Eight. <laughs> it's cracked here on the back or whatnot. Cracked on the front. There's a big crack here. But the main thing, the meat and potatoes, is all the discs are in here. And I think... You can see that one's been resurfaced. Oh, is that why it's all swirly? Yeah, the damn skip doctor up there. I'm going to take it outside and shoot it with a shotgun. <laughs> you said damn. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Mm -hmm. But anyways, it's got the manual in there, and it does have... And this case is a piece of mm -hmm. duty. And I'm dropping stuff everywhere. But it does have all the discs, and this one here is in pretty good shape. That's typical when you find, you know, games with multiple discs. The first ones always take take a beating. But you guys can see, just smudges, no scratches hardly whatsoever. I think that's supposed to be like four. Oh, it's behind the manual. So there's the other one. It is complete. And this is probably my favorite one because I like the gun blade and all that stuff in this. Really good one. I'll just set that off to the side somewhere, don't matter. Then my little cluttered room of games. I'm in heaven. And these here, I ended up picking up both of these for five bucks at Dan's. And I'm just going to use them for trade-in. If you can see they're five bucks, and that was for both of these PS4 games. So I'm starting to find these now, which is ridiculous. So I'll use this as trade-in at GameStop. Didn't you play that one? Yeah. You Oh, that's the one you didn't like, because that's the one that's got the dude that's Kevin Spacey dude. Yeah, it did have really good graphics and stuff. I just, I'm not a big Call of Duty fan as far as multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> Jason would be on YouTube. I know. Now. <laughs> he would. And then this one here will definitely stay in my collection. I did not have this. I picked it up for two bucks. And that is the first Crash Bandicoot. It's Greatest Hits Edition, but it does come complete with the manual. And the disc is pretty nice. Just some smudges there and a few light scratches. So, yes, glad to get that. And I think this is the last thing we got from Dan's. And this was also two bucks for this. But this is the SG Pro Pad Digital Processing 2. <laughs> I said that wrong. SG Pro Pad 2 Digital Processing, whatever that means. But it's got auto features, it's got slow and stuff. And stuff. It don't say in stuff. I, I it, looked at it. There's no in a stuff button. <laughs> There's no in a stuff. <laughs> but anyways, it's got slow. It's uh, got six button features there. Really cool controller. For, uh, it's even got shoulder buttons. And I'm pretty. I'm assuming. I'm not for sure. But that looks like to me a Sega Genesis plug. So who knows? I bet you guys know. But yeah, really glad to get that one. Tell us if you know. So that was uh, five bucks for the PS4 games, two for the Crash Bandicoot, two for the controller, and ten for the shotgun shells. And there, was there anything else? No, that was all that was in the bag. And the Final Fantasy, oh yeah, the Final Fantasy was a dollar for that one, so <laughs> good score. Then the next thing is that little auction house, and Mary was right, I tried to stop in there again when I was having an auction, it was ridiculous, she couldn't... I don't, uh, mm -mm. She's just like, I want to leave. I don't, I, it, it just, uh -uh. So, she was right. She said, you need to stop in there before the auction. So, that's what I did. And for this next lot, you're going to see, guys, I paid $16 for this lot. 
And we'll just start off with some random stuff. First off, we got two Game Boy Colors. This one here had the little attachable analog stick and buttons or whatnot. It's really cool. This one, they both work, but this one's got the battery. And I'll just turn it on and show you guys. This one has the little battery cover and all that stuff. You guys can see that it's working. That one there, the... It's kind of yeah. busted. This one right here might just... It works, but believe it or not, it does work, but it's got corrosion in there. It's kind of janky. Yeah, it's kind of... I might just, you know, use it for parts or whatnot. So, uh -huh. moving on, we got another little console here. This is the original uh, Nintendo DS. Really? Yeah. Pretty cool. I don't but think I've seen one of them. Let me see. I prefer the uh, uh, Game Boy SP AGS 101. That's that's the best one because it plays them all. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so moving on, we did get a link cable for the Game Boys, and we got some uh, another. We got a Game cheater Game. cheaters. These guys was cheating. We got a Game Shark. And what does that go for? That is for the Game Boy Color or the Game Boy Pocket. Well, That's how it works. If I'd have read it, I'd have known, wouldn't I? And let's see. On to the games we got with this. We'll just start out with this neat little one. Neat little one. <laughs> this one in this neat little it's Mad so Cat's big. carrying case. And that is Zelda Link to the Past Four Swords. Oh. Love some Zelda, guys. Then, these games here, I might end up selling these, I'm not sure, but we got two copies of Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. Pikachu! Both of them kind of bashed up. That's the only but, Pokemon I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I like Team Rocket. <laughs> but anyways... Then we got Pokemon Crystal for the Game Boy Color. That one's not too bad as far as condition. And then also for the original Game Boy, we got this has a terrible label. Pokemon Gold. You guys can see there some. It's like I don't know. Somebody wrote their name on the front of it. It's all scratched up. Somebody wrote their name on the back. Well, it's a little kid was playing. Yeah. Matt McLeod. Matt McLeod. And then the next two things we got here is just two controllers, and that is a, I always screw this, Glacier Purple N64 controller, I think. And I know you guys know you're going to be like, it's not Glacier Purple, but maybe it is. Well, it is purple. And it's clear. But it does have a really nice, look, for this, that's all the play, if you guys can see that, it's all the play in that stick. That's it. It's not much. Really nice stick. Well, you know, it probably is glacier purple because, you know, ice is clear and that's clear and that's like a glacier. And Maybe I know more than I thought. <laughs> and then the next thing we got here is a black GameCube controller. And I, I'm going to use this to bundle with a black console I've got because i got like probably four GameCube consoles over there with hookups and everything. So bye-bye black one. It's out. And I'll do the same thing with this controller with... The four, three or four N64s I got over there. I got to move some of this stuff, guys. I've become a hoarder. Well, I can't say anything because I hoard shoes and pocketbooks. So. This is true. <laughs> They're everywhere. So, I think that's pretty much all that stuff. So, the next thing we got here, I do not know if this works, guys. Because it, it did not come with any of the hookups. It come with one controller. But in the town I live in, this is a pretty cool thing to find. And I'll just show you the controller first. And it looks like a little mouse chewed the button off right there. Look at that. But it's a Jaguar. First time on the channel, we found a Jaguar. And here is the console. Right here. It's beat up and scuffed up. And hell, I don't even know if it worked, like I said, but... It's a weird looking thing, and I don't know if this is supposed to be there, or it's missing, or what, but we found a Jaguar. You we know, hope it works. I don't ever even remember when I was younger anybody even having one of them or playing one of them. I know the original Atari, the wood grain one, I remember playing the crap out of that, 
when I was younger, but that I, I don't These remember. These are higher-end consoles. Just anybody didn't have one of those. I didn't. So these would have came out, like, before the Nintendo? I think this Or right around the same time or right after? I don't know. I know it's cartridge-based because well, it's got a cartridge slot. You're supposed right to there. know these things. You're supposed to educate the public. Anyway. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> That's all we got, guys, and that was for 15 bucks, so not a bad deal at all. And he will keep you posted on whether or not the Jaguar works. He'll clean it up and stuff. And I've got to try to know. figure out to get all the hookups in a game. It didn't come with a game or anything, so i got to have all that to even test it and see if it does work. So, thank you guys, all the new subs watching the channel. We really do appreciate that. Absolutely. Big thumbs up to all you guys. Thumbs up to the veterans out there. And really hope you guys like this episode of the Woodburn Retro Hunter. Retroed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Retroed. I do it all the time. Yeah, you The Woodburn Retro Game Hunter and Mary. So, we'll see you guys in the next one. No, no, what did they say? Woodburn. And would marry him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was said. Okay. We'll so, go with that. We'll go with that. <laughs> Peace, guys. And we will see you in the next one. And as always, yeah. See you guys.